hi friends welcome back to my channel C graphics and in my this video I have explained about how to create an animated intro slide where I animated the text with the image so it's very easy and uh, let's see that how we can do this so for that I have this much of content I'm using this content I'll be prepare that slide what I have displayed in the video and these are all the details of fonts and uh, font sizes and uh, font family whatever I have used for this and the below is the color code which color code I have applied for these things and this is the entire slide what I have prepared for that so let's we'll start this So we need to create, uh, we need to take one new slide and just drag and delete this portion. Uh, now we'll go to uh, the design summary slide. In that slide, you can see that what family, font family I have used here. The same, I'm just copying and pasting over here. And uh, like similarly, uh, we'll apply the, all those things with the details, like whatever details I mentioned over there. Like the title, uh, then after that the paragraph so after putting this uh, will arrange accordingly and it's up to you uh, it means not like you will be mentioned only the welcome or whatever I mentioned over there this is the only uh, the way to I'm explaining here so you can customize in your shape and whatever text you require you can fill with that So I increase the font size as I mentioned in that detail page. Uh, similarly, uh, we'll follow the all th those two text part also. We'll check the text size and alignments, everything. Yes. So now it came in uh, proper shape. Uh, now we'll play around with the image and animated things. So go to shape and take a rectangle and send it to back. For now I change the color, whatever color I mentioned in that summary page. You can uh, follow the same color code or it's up to you if you want to be changed some color you can change. Make sure uh, I outline should not be there. So I send it back and now select the welcome and the rectangle go to format and this fragment is one option. You just apply that for fragment. Uh, you will get all the pieces of text and along with that background. So now just select the all the text pieces and change it the color. So now you can see that O inside there is a one circle. So that is also a different part. So what I what I did, I just put the same color what is in background. <coughs> now uh, we'll uh, both select the both and uh, combine the both of shapes. Uh, now we could see uh, the welcome part is the different and uh, the background part is the different. So you can move and check it. The background is the white color and this is the top layer which rectangle we have dragged over here. Now I applied the color inside the background which previously it was white so I put at that blue color the same blue which I uh, took from that summary page which I have mentioned in the first slide. Now I am going to insert one image. See this image I have inserted here and I am going to be send this back. Now I change that rectangle color blue color which was uh, not uh, color uh, I just applied the pattern over here. So it's up to you if you if you can keep the flat color or any of predefined pattern you can apply. And similarly, I change that color text 
font colors also I change. Uh, now I'm going to create one line over here. So it's very easy, just you need to go to insert and that line is there, which is coming under the default save and just go with the settings. And I converted that line in a dash glide line. Uh, you can see that this is not a normal line. Now it converted in the dashed. Arrange that properly in the center. So overall graphics we have prepared here. Now we will do the animation with this. So go to the top menu and select the animation. And just the follow the instructions which animation I am applying over there. There is a setting. Uh, just go with the after clicking or sorry. Um, you can also after previous and with previous or there is a two option. You can choose any of one. For now, I used here after previous, but with previous will be the better for, I think. Similarly, uh, again, I applied the animation on image and in that setting, that animation setting, I changed the direction of the animation and put the time also. It's going very fastly. So I just increase the time of animation. And similarly, now I applied the animation on the add your title here. This is nothing but the timings only, the animation timings. We're getting the smooth animation with the relative animation, just to be playing with these things. And the what which animation I have applied for the image that background image the same animation I applied for this line as well. Now go to animation pan and just click on here which animation. Okay, so when you click on here, you can see that active that orange color is looking. In there is a setting of animation, just smooth and up to three seconds it could be. So just make it okay. So you can see that animation is coming very smoothly while it's getting to end. So now we will play and we'll check. Uh, it's nice, but uh, what happening over here? It's coming very fastly. So we need to mention the time. Okay, so that first layer, which is the background one, and so that is coming very fastly. Now you can see that it's coming very smoothly. So like that, uh, we can create this entire animation. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you really like, please uh, go to subscribe button and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. I'll be come with next video and coming this. Thank you so much.